We're going to go on now to have a look at a few circuit symbols and a few other components. So you might see that word in the exam component, okay? That just means things that you can put in circuits. So we're going to look at the diode, the light emitting diode, the light dependent resistor, and the thermistor. So you, first of all, need to know how to draw all of the circuit symbols for these. Now there's a few tips that I can help to give you a hand. First of all, let's go through the diodes. Now I remember it as the this symbol looks a little bit like D I for diode. And then we just put a circle around it and we put our lines in. So that's how I remember the diode one. And the other reason that helps me remember this one is that it looks a little bit like an arrow here. This bit here looks like an arrow's head. And that reminds me that current only flows in one direction. And that is because, especially for higher tier, there's a high resistance the other way. So current will only throw it flow one way because the resistance in the other direction is too high. So I'll just put resistance in reverse is too high. So if you put one of these components in a circuit, it would only work one way round. If you took it out and turned it round the other way, it would no longer work. This then, a light emitting diode, LED. See these obviously in your day-to-day -day life, LED lights, but you don't often know that their full name is light emitting diode. Now to help you remember how to draw this one, all you do is draw a diode again, and then these two arrows here coming off to show that light is coming off. So that is the light emitting diode. Over here we've got the light dependent resistor, and first of all, to help try and remember this one, you've got the basic resistor in the middle, just the rectangle. And then if you put a circle around that, and you've got two arrows this time becoming to the resistor, okay, because it's dependent on light. It's a light dependent resistor. And over here, we've got the thermistor, okay, and we'll talk about these two in more detail just now. So, first of all, let's just remind ourselves to what happens in terms of resistance um, and temp temperature, and that will help us with these two examples. So I'm just gonna draw a wire here with some um, metal ions in there, and we'd have electrons flowing through that wire to those metal ions. Now, normally, if the temperature increases, then the ions are going to vibrate more and it's going to increase the resistance. So the normal situation is that if you increase the temperature of something, you increase the resistance. But however, the thermistor, the therm in the word there is got like heat, like thermal, therm. The thermistor is a special type of resistor. And what happens with this one is the absolute opposite. So it's the opposite to all other wires and components and things. And I'll just draw a little graph that you'll need to recognize of resistance against temperature. And for a thermistor, as temperature increases, resistance decreases. So it's the opposite to what normally happens. So I try and remember it is if therm is like heat, I know this wants to do with heat, and it's the opposite to what normally happens. Here then we've got the light dependent resistor. And again, we need to recognize the same shape graph associated with light dependent resistor and that is resistance against this time light intensity and this has the same shape whereby resistance decreases as light intensity increases and you just for exam need to know a few applications as well so the obvious one um, for light dependent resistors is street lamps so these are not turned on or off by someone in the control room these are controlled by light dependent resistors at the top, detecting light and then changing the current in the circuit. Similarly, over here, thermistors are used to control the temperature of things. So you can imagine if it gets too hot, that will change the resistance and then change the current in the circuit. So thermistors are used in things like fridges and ovens. So some quite complex symbols that we need to remember.